Hey there, how are you today? My name is Dana Damara and you have landed on Astrocast. This is your weekly forecast from March 11th through the 17th. So as I'm recording this, it is the new moon in Pisces. It's March 10th. And if you didn't watch the recording for the new moon in Pisces, I invite you to do so. This is really the energy of this entire week. You know, whenever we experience uh, new moons or full moons or really anything in the cosmos, it's it's not like the day of the new moon or the day of the full moon or the day of the first quarter moon. Um, that energy starts and stops on that day. It's actually completely opposite, right? Everything is in flux. Everything is flowing. So energy from the new moon really begins two, three days before it and is still active two, three days after it. So as we move into this week, we're experiencing still this energy of magic, of intuitive knowledge, of wisdom, of a knowing, right? And the theme that I called out last week is the I am statement. And the reason I call that theme out is because we are creating magic every time we use the phrase I am, okay? so. I want you to kind of let that um, theme run into this week. And there's only one really big aspect this week that will actually drive that home. And that is um, the sun conjuncting Neptune in the sign of Pisces. Now, Neptune loves Pisces. Neptune is magic. Neptune is depth. Neptune is dreams. Neptune is imagination, right? And when the sun conjuncts Neptune, it really brings all of that into HD, it brings all of that into amplification. So it really is a magical week. It's it's um, the energy is asking you, what do you really want? What do you really, really, really want? And then notice when you stop yourself, when you maybe have a moment of um, self-doubt or a lack of self-worth of obtaining that or a questioning into, well, how am I going to make that happen? Or how am I going to um, manifest that into my life? Because your mind is what stops you. The magic is already happening. Okay. Now at the sake of being or sounding too woo woo for some of you, the energy that surrounds the sun conjuncting Neptune also requires that you set boundaries for yourself. And by boundaries, I mean really dropping into how you feel around certain people, um, reading certain articles, paying attention to things that don't really support you, um, what you're consuming, whatever it is that you're consuming on any level, is it in alignment with that that you want to draw into your life? Because if it's not, at least for this week, put it on pause, let it go. You can investigate all of it maybe next week, but know this, all of our planets are moving forward this week with this new moon in Pisces, this magical, magical new moon. Everything is um, asking you what feels good for you. And then in the next couple of weeks, Mercury is going to start going into its shadow phase. It's going to you know, go into retrograde at the end of the month. We have a full moon lunar eclipse. So this energy right now is all about using your imagination. It's all about dreaming big and tapping into your magic. Okay, so the theme this week is the word magic and tapping into that deep rooted um, imagination that's in the heart space. Just let yourself go there this week and set some boundaries for yourself so that Anybody that kind of, or anything that kind of disrupts that, you just put it on pause. It'll all be there later, right? So I want to say thank you so much for uh, listening and continuing to listen. And if you want your chart read, please feel free to shoot me a note at Dana at DanaDamara.com. Uh, if you just want some information about astrology and kind of the things that I'm talking about here, uh, feel free to go to myastrocast.com and put your email in and uh, you'll get some information from me. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.